Before you can discover how to restore ownership and self-accountability, you must first decide where you're going to restore it. Now, in the previous videos, we talked about why ownership and self-accountability is absolutely central to your success and why it fades away in every successful growing organization and the choice that you must make as a founder to deal with it. You can either head back to fun or march forward to predictable success. Now, either option is valid, and more importantly, either option is going to be much more enjoyable than what you're experiencing if you're stuck in whitewater right now. So let's start with heading back to fun. Now, restoring ownership and self-accountability by dialing things back is actually quite simple. In this stage, as it was your first time through, ownership and self-accountability is caught more than it is taught. For this reason, I don't necessarily teach skills or strategies to my clients in the organic growth stage. Instead, I give them four mottos, and I think you're really going to like them. The first motto is do the right thing. Don't get lost in spreadsheets and memos and singing kumbaya and nine-day vision retreats. Just do the right thing and hire or keep people who do the right thing, regardless of how hard it is, who's watching, or whether it's their job. The second motto is, does it create or save sales? Now, this is the most common question that I ask leaders in fun because it matters that much. The key here is to keep things simple, and the best way to do that is to keep your focus on revenue. Be wary of tasks or strategies or advice or people that don't have a direct impact on creating or saving like fulfilling revenue. The third motto is never let the customer down. The customer is king. One of the things though that you may need to learn is to say no before they become a customer so you don't have to do it after. You need to make your commitments even on a sales call knowing that letting the customer down is never an option. The fourth is to be the vision and values. Finally, resist the urge to be clever with your vision and values. You don't need to write them on the walls or screen print them on t-shirts or plaster them on your website. You just need to be them and do them yourself. You need to be the vision and values. And when you are, you'll find that everyone else pretty much follows suit because they're going to repeat what you do far more than what you say. Together, these four mottos act as a sort of decision-making filter that applies to everything you do, from the tasks that you tackle today to what you sell tomorrow, to who you hire, and to who you let go. And on that point, when you hire, some people just naturally get these mottos. You give them a good leader uh, who models all four behaviors, and they don't need to be taught any of them. They just do it. And while this can be for anyone with enough grit and self-awareness, you'll more than likely find that the majority of those who thrive in this environment are strong operators. Now, these four mottos work exceptionally well if you're trying to get back to fun from whitewater. Getting into fun and out of early struggle and even staying in fun, it works there as well. There's one additional step, though, that's needed to get that right focus that is specific to each of those stages. In short, from early struggle to fun, you need to preserve cash as you drive ruthlessly toward revenue. It's really all about finding a profitable and sustainable market. Now, if you're trying to stay in fun, practice saying no a little bit more, especially on sales calls and new product or service or locations or opportunities. Being selective helps you preserve simplicity while maximizing your impact and your income. If you're trying to get back from whitewater to fun, then you've got to turn the dials back somewhere, and that's typically in whatever area that got you into whitewater in the first place. Maybe you opened too many locations, or maybe you took on too many jobs simultaneously, or maybe you're hanging on to too many legacy customers, or maybe you've hired too many people too quickly or even too many of the wrong people. Another place to look is maybe you've started too many products or services. You see, with the right focus and the right mindset, you will create an incredibly simple but incredibly effective organization that hits way above its weight class and is genuinely fun to lead. But what if you choose the other route? What if you decide you're not going back, but you're going forward? Well, that brings us to the simple question that eludes even some of the best of us. How do you create ownership and self-accountability when it stops happening naturally? And that's what you'll discover in the next video.